Yeah, so the next boat we're going to look at is probably the most anticipated boat from Rabala we've had in a long time. This is the new 272. It's going to fill that 27 foot niche and uh, we're going to hop on board and take a look at it. Hunter, tell me about this back end of this boat. This boat is configured with the optional seat facing rear. And one thing that I really like about this seat is when you want the live well, you just lift this up and you have full access to your live well. Nice. Now, I see there's a fish box down there. How big is that thing? This is a 100 gallon fish box. 100 gallons. Let's take a look in here, guys. So if you've got kings, or you've got big fish, or you've got whatever, it goes on for days. What else is new? Well, take a look at this. For all of those that have been asking for a side entry, take a look at this. That access is phenomenal. Take a look at this top. I mean, how much shade can you possibly get? Well, Robala thought about it. It's pretty nice, isn't it? This is what else they thought about. Take a look at this. How about a side entry? Take a look at that double hinge magnetized. And look, it folds flush, so it's not just in the way of exactly. everything. Fish are bringing it in. Look at how much easier this is. You bring that fish right in. Your box is right here. Slide that fish right in. And you only need one hand to get the job done. You got it. Hunter, tell me about this real quick. So this this back chair, this back bench, what's up with this? This back bench, like all Rabalos, really has a lot of accessibility to all of your pumps and batteries. Show me what you mean. Check this out. I mean, it's just crazy. You have your three bank battery charger. So you can literally get to every single thing on this boat. Look at this. Also, easy access to your fuel tanks on each uh, hang side. On, hang on, hang on. All right. Yeah. Also, sure. I want to show how easy it is to fold this seat out and how comfortable it is for two big guys like us to sit on it. Did it give any creak, any pop, any movement? Not at all. No, and that's awesome, man. So accessibility, comfort, and it all folds out of the way. All right, so we're right here at the helm of the 272, and I've got a humongous top that goes everywhere all the way around. I've got lighting underneath here, multicolor, so I've got map readers, whites, whole nine yards. I've also got the electric vent right here, so this opens up when I need more air. And But the cool thing about this is everything is beautiful, flush, everything. back. The switches are backlit. I've got trim tabs, place for my cell phone. But for me as a dad, I love how much further down this is because I can keep an eye on my kids. I never lose sight of what's important. And then, even when I'm sitting, perfect number. Put the seat down, lean it back, I'm relaxed. And you can't do this in other boats. You don't have this kind of room. <laughs> guys, this is like the definition of comfortable seating. Hunter, Nick, how tall are you guys? Over six feet tall. Easy. Over six feet tall. Well, a little bit over 200 pounds, give or take. Just a little. Just, Just a, a little. little. And there is a ton of space and a ton of room. I'm going to walk around behind you and show you these backrests. They go all the way up the back. So these guys got great back support and they're not giving, not flexing or anything. If you did this on a competition, dude, it just wouldn't work. And then underneath you guys, what's underneath y'all? Huh? Insulated fish boxes. Sweet. And Both uh, sides, the drain overboard. Yeah, so there's not anything going down into the bilge. Not on a Rubala. Take a look at this. And a Kuka Kula coach. Nice. And then you got tons of space underneath your feet. For all your ground tackle. That is 